Disability advocates and parents are pushing for more transparency from school districts when a student acts out in class. A bill at the Capitol would change how teachers report incidents of seclusion and restraint of a student. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin has more on how lawmakers want these incidents tracked. While attending kindergarten and elementary school in the early 2000s, Molly Immendorf says her son William was often teased by students because he was on the autism spectrum. She explains this led William to act out, and when things escalated, teachers would place him in a room by himself and at times physically restrain him. She says she never knew because the school wasn't required to tell her. I mean, it was crazy to think that my son, you know, was isolated and secluded just a month into school. But that was only the first time. A group of disability advocates found in 2003 to 2014 more than 20,000 incidents involving seclusion and restraint occurred at Wisconsin schools. 80% of those were students with disabilities. Represent lots of parents who are guilt ridden when they find out that this has been happening to their children for a long, long time and they didn't know about it. Not knowing about the numerous times and finding out only after the fact that, um, you know, whether there was something that had happened. A new bill would require districts to update staff training on how to calm students before they become violent. Not only that, the Department of Public Instruction would also be forced to track these incidents and inform parents, which is not required today. Immendorf says that could have helped her correct her son's behavior. This proposal does have bipartisan support and no one spoke in opposition during today's committee hearing. Reporting at the state capitol, Emily Fannin, 27 News. In 2011, Wisconsin did set new standards for school districts. Teachers and staff can now only restrain a student if there's an imminent risk to others.